So NAB is about two months away and typically at NAB, Black Magic releases some type of big update for DaVinci Resolve. And over the years, we've seen a lot of stuff for me covering a lot of different things within DaVinci Resolve on YouTube back when Fusion wasn't even a part of DaVinci Resolve and they kind of worked together, but we had to do things like a Fusion Connect clip and stuff like that, where we would render in DaVinci Resolve. It would then start up Fusion. We would then make our changes at a saver node, render, and then we would see it back on our timeline within DaVinci Resolve, kind of like a round trip or an easier way to do like a round trip and then they obviously implemented that into DaVinci Resolve itself. The standalone still does exist uh, but added a ton of other things like we've seen the cut page just recently uh, back I think it was in 14 we have seen Fairlight getting at it and then over the years we've seen a bunch of improvements with the collaboration and being able to work with a team of people within the same project and especially now with all the different pages we've also seen things added to the color page and we've also seen fusion FX there's always something that's missing that the community wants to see and I'm kind of curious what you guys currently feel that isn't a part of DaVinci Resolve currently but for now I came up with a little list of things that you know I would personally like to see and by all means you know now it's way too late for them to be implementing this they probably already have a set of things that they have been working on and now they're just polishing them for April but here's a couple of things that I wanted to see Explore a wide selection of pre-made creative tools for DaVinci Resolve, like titles, transitions, slideshows and infographs, like bar charts and callouts, and much, much more. Link in the description for more information. The first thing, and I've been wanting this ever since Fusion has come into DaVinci Resolve, I would like to see audio in Fusion, especially for doing motion graphics. It's nice to cue things up to music. Being able to hear audio and cue up everything uh, would definitely be amazing. It was in the standalone version of Fusion. It was very primitive, but it was still in there and it still worked. Uh, but yeah, that's something that I would like to see in Fusion. Now the next one, I think I have to kind of show you. Uh, it's kind of the way in which I've edit. In the past, I've talked about the different uh, keyboard shortcuts that I use, but one of them that I use is obviously the Razer. And one of the things that kind of sucks is I showed like using uh, multiple timelines and stuff like that. But one of the things is, let's say I have a clip highlighted, right? Maybe I made an adjustment to this clip and I'm playing along and I want to cut a portion, maybe to do an insert or something. The big thing that I hate is when I make a cut, it makes the previous thing active. So if I was to edit and let's say I wanted to cut out this portion, so that's where I wanted to cut. I wanna cut out the portion that I just played because I wanna do like a jump cut. I have to highlight it and then I have to do my ripple delete. And you know, it kind of doesn't really uh, flow that well because I have to get the next clip selected. So if it stayed selected, that would be awesome. I could go like that. But then once I do a, a, a razor, it keeps the previous one. So I can't go on and then ripple delete. It's kind of a pain, but um, yeah. So that would be my second one. The next one is uh, the visibility of audio on the edit page. So if I had a clip in here and they've changed this around a little bit, but in the newest version, uh, it's over here. If we have audio selected, um, to make visible, we can't see it. We have to kind of come down here and move this until it pops in. And it's kind of fiddly. There isn't like a default, like a, an auto default um, spot, but I would personally like it to be as small as it is and still be able to draw audio in there. Um, that would be my other thing that I'd really like to see. Sometimes you get a lot of stuff going here and being able to see the audio, even though that they're crunched all the way together, would definitely be very beneficial. The next one, we're gonna go into Fusion, and I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but the Saver node has like almost no control here um, to do things. Like if you've previously used the Saver node, you can kind of make it make like PNGs and stuff, but by default, it looks like it just wants to do um, EXRs. So that's kind of weird. I'm not exactly sure why, 
um, the reasoning behind that, but it would be kind of cool to be able to get uh, more formats that the saver node could do within the DaVinci Resolve version. It just seems like it's kind of in here to serve a purpose and it's very limited, but I don't really know why it's so limited uh, because it seems like it kind of can still do some of the other stuff. You just don't have access to a lot of the settings. So, um, but yeah, having the saver node more like the standalone um, fusion. So the next thing would be uh, being able to save a bunch of stuff that you apply to a clip as a preset. So if I went in and I added in some different effects onto here, I also came in and I altered a bunch of settings, transforms, whatever it may be to a particular clip, it would be cool to save that as a preset and then be able to drag it from here, drop it on there, and then whatever effects that that preset had automatically apply it in. I know that we have like adjustment clips, but that kind of you know affects everything. It'd be nice to just be able to apply it directly to one video. Now I voiced that I would like to see this a year ago. There is something in the standalone fusion called the gallery and that allows you to visually see templates. That's not something that DaVinci Resolve has. It would be cool to be able to go into the effects library and see all of your uh, titles that you have made and see in like a preview. Cause when you, when you start to get really big uh, libraries, you, you have to know exactly what the thing looks like or else you're gonna just gonna be dropping them on and looking at them. Uh, but being able to have like a visual representation of the different titles would be really cool in the effects library for uh, the titles on the edit page as well as any type of templates that you have on the fusion page so that's the next thing that i would really like to see i've played around a couple of times with trying to use the cut page and one thing that was just really making things difficult is if i was to take let's say a title here and i drop it on so i have my title here Sometimes you have this open, sometimes you don't, right? But let's say you don't. You gotta click this button, then you kinda come over to here. This is dedicated to a title, right? You gotta click this button, and then on top of that, you have to click Open Inspector. This Open Inspector button, I don't know why it's here, but I feel like it shouldn't be here. I feel like when you click this button here, it should automatically just open up the inspector. Cause there's nothing, this doesn't do anything um and this open ins I, I just feel like clicking this button open inspector should automatically happen without being another button to click um anything to speed up the process so uh this open inspector button get it out of there it knows that this is already a title that needs the inspector open so i should just be able to click this button and it automatically opens it without having to uh, click an additional button um, to get the inspector actually open so that's a couple of things that I would like to see in the next update. Is there anything that you would like to see that you've maybe worked with with a previous program and you kind of don't see it in here and it's kind of um, a struggle to wrap your head around maybe the way DaVinci Resolve does it or maybe it just doesn't exist at all. Things that you would like to see here like maybe word wrap or something of that nature. Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to see what other things that I might not be thinking about when I used to use prior programs that I've been kind of living without. So that's kind of it. That's all I got for you guys for today. If you have any questions about DaVinci Resolve, maybe you're working on a project where you need a little bit of help in the description, I have a link to my Facebook group. You can join that. If a member of the community had a similar issue there to help you out, I go in there from time to time and I also help people out when I can. Uh, but that's kind of all I got for you for today. And with that being said, my name's JR. Thanks for watching, guys.